Let's start a little journey or adventure this morning Hello. with my three-year-old. Or maybe with my father-in-law who's just yeah. asked him to put a chainsaw in his boot. Yes. Ah, yes, he's reminding me. We've still got olives to pick. They are going black and that's danger because when they go too black they become soft and then they have worms. So I like to say there's a lot of work and manual labour. Oh yeah, he's saying there's so many olives outside to pick and it's all a race against time and now my wife is telling me, I'm not complaining at all by the way, in the just the tone seems like that way. Uh, my wife is saying that uh, we've got to pick the lemons. They're getting ripe on the other side. That's what I've been doing this morning, getting the rusty ladder from one place, squished in between the trees. It's not a proper orchard, or not, not really organized, so really hard to get the rusty ladder from one place to the other. Uh, but, but what I'm trying to get at is the importance. I, I feel like there's one thing I haven't really explained properly the importance of staying rough, of doing manual labour. Because if you're from the laptop class, as I'm part of now, uh, where we work from our laptops, from our bedrooms, and this relatively cushy lifestyle, you become very soft, and it's very dangerous. You can see people as their lives... I, I, I meet a lot of different kinds of people, but... Uh, I do see the privileged people become soft and and people don't realise how privileged they are. Anybody in the West pretty much is relatively privileged. If you're sitting and watching, if you get to watch Netflix, you're probably privileged. Okay, if you can pay for Netflix, you can sit down and watch videos and YouTube and whatever anytime you want, you're privileged and you become soft very quickly. It's very important to stay rough, do manual labour, stay... If, if I, I'm definitely privileged that I've got a nice huge garden, nothing like in London, and I can get my hands into nature, and there's lots of lovely fun things to do. Um, even though it's rough, there's I try to give a sense of oh, he's telling me to get the lemons also. So, so I, I missed. I always miss out a million things. Do keep watching my videos. I, I missed out the oranges. Um, that we just came from, which are not ripe yet, and he's pointing at the lemons uh, that we need to pick. Abu Hassan over there, that's my father-in-law. Lemons are most ripe at the top, so I've been getting the ladder. Can you see the ladder there? That's not going to get it go high enough, so I have to pull a branch, but you can't just pull a branch because there's massive thorns on it. Um, so, but, Sunt Afnan! Dai, dai. Let's get lemon. She's been waiting to pick lemons and I told her no, no, no. Now pick this one. Yay. Yay. So there's a huge amount of fun just, ooh, there you go. But I don't mind her hurting herself. It's part of staying rough, part of a challenge. There's not too many big thorns where she is, um, but there are bigger thorns. I mean, look at that. Huge. Look at that. Can you see that? It's not focusing, is it? Can you get it focus on the big thorns? Those are big thorns. Anyway, two hands. So I'm teaching her how to be good with animals earlier on, you might have seen. And good with nature is struggling with it, figuring it all out. Maybe she needs to realize she needs to use two hands, stuff like that. Baba, Baba, all right then. Help. Okay, Baba is going to help then, after all. Okay, let's get in there. Let's see if I know how to do it with one hand and a... This is my first lemon actually, now I'm thinking about it. Go, go, go! Actually, I can't! Okay, I have to twist it off. Maybe I will be using clippers. Twist it off. Yay! Show me lemon! Is it good? Now what are we going to do? We're going to put in a tea, right? Yeah, you're going to cut it and put it in the tea, or it's used for um, preserving or processing the olives. If you've seen my videos about that, I probably haven't shown that very well. Uh, maybe I will show that, I don't know. No, I won't show that. There's always millions of bits of manual labour going on. 
Uh, this was an experiment, just the wrong way around. I was half turning it around because if I leave it this way around, the chickens escape through the little gaps in here. But anyway, that's another story. The chi chicken house story. Where are the chickens right now? Where have they gone? Anyway, let's end this video.